Actually, we are investing here about 2 billion euros and start of production will be in 25. So very short period of time to do all the construction work. Actually, I'm uh, based now or located here in what is an assembly of uh, engines. So an engine plant, which is high capacity and uh, alongside so in the cl close neighborhood, we are building this battery plant, which makes a lot of sense because this transition from IC engines to batteries, we will use big part of the workforce. So ramping down ICEs and ramping up batteries will go hand in hand. One of the bottlenecks for e-mobility are actually batteries. So how well positions do you feel with the growing number of own battery plants? We have a plan until 25. We are basically saved uh, and, and have good supplies for all the cars we are planning until then. And from 25 onwards, we are starting and ramping up, uh, building our own battery plants. This is the second one in Europe our, under our own leadership already. First one was Northwald, and next one is uh, most likely uh, getting to be launched in Spain, and then we look for Eastern Europe. In total, we are going to have six uh, gigafactories in Europe until 2030. So big investment, about 20 billion. Uh, also, uh, a lot of uh, work uh, places created about uh, uh, 20,000 workplaces all over Europe. When we look at sales, though, this year, it doesn't really look very good for electrified cars. So what's the outlook and where are the bottlenecks? Uh, the outlook is very good. We have very good order intake uh, uh, in uh, Asia, in, 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 in China already. 25% of the market are electric. In Europe, in some uh, markets like Norway, it's already 70, 80%. So there's huge demand uh, and um, we're trying to keep delivery times short, but we have a lead time of a year or so currently. So we are ramping up production, but uh, five plants, five assembly plants are coming into production now. Uh, in Hanover, in Empton, very close to here, but Lada Bolislav in Czech Republic. So we will see a, a ramp up in the second half of the year to really be able to uh, uh, reduce delivery times for our EVs. As high demand in Europe and also in the United States, uh, we will launch uh, later this year in August probably uh, for our ID4 production, and we have high demand already there. What is the situation? So yeah. Bottlenecks are really still semiconductors, yeah, and uh, but this will we will see an alleviation through the next weeks. Uh, so and then uh, over time we're going to see uh, because we have a variety of models, uh, uh, but we feel confident that we can uh, uh, gain market share in the next months. You're saying that you see um, a, an improvement in the situation concerning uh, semiconductors over the next couple of weeks. Why is that? Uh, because we started uh, with wafer production only earlier this year and the throughput times are such you now that you have to uh, uh, wait until half a year or so until the really the semiconductor in the ECUs are coming to the plants. And this is going to happen now. This is why we are confident to ramp up production now. Uh, let's also talk about commodities because clearly you need a lot of commodities for your batteries. So how are you sourcing them? and? Um, are you confident that you have enough of them um, for, for, the, for these big battery plants? Yeah, until 25, we are safe. And beyond 25, we are establishing long-term contracts with mining companies, uh, with uh, first-tier suppliers. So we are well in the process. There is uh, plenty of material, but um, it has to be prepared for the supply chain. So we need the uh, manufacturing units. We need the mining ca uh, capacities. Uh, but there's a lot of investment going in. So I'm confident that uh, the ramp up of EVs can be supported by raw materials and then cathode materials and finally uh, batteries, uh, because we are, we are investing a lot and uh, also other companies are investing a lot in raw materials for batteries. Um, you are very, uh, not, you're not confident, but your big plans is, is to grow in the United States. Um, what are you changing to attract more people to the VW grant in the States? Oh, I, absolutely. Now we, we have a scarcity of labor. We're just ramping up a, a new shift in Chattanooga. It's going well. So we offer attractive uh, conditions. I think it's an attractive place, uh, Chattanooga. So we attract people with uh, good salaries and a very nice working environment. 
So uh, it's a, it's a, in, in the US, it's a lot about competition, and we think we are competitive. We, are, we have good working conditions. We have a nice labor environment. We have really a future-proof product. So uh, I think we will succeed in Chattanooga. I need to ask you about the upcoming supervisory board meeting tomorrow as well, because there are loads of topics which might be controversial, including carry at the software unit you are responsible for. So what are your plans to make improvements at that unit? Oh, we have well thought through plans, so I think it won't be very controversial. <laughs> okay. Also, when it comes to the Porsche IPO, because clearly the markets are deteriorating right now, does it also mean that you're pushing the plan for the IPO in the future? No, we stick to the plan because we think uh, uh, it's uh, one of the most attractive IPOs which are going to happen. It uh, has an historic dimension and even in adverse conditions now, I think this is a very valuable and uh, sustainable investment. So uh, we stick to our plans. When it comes to wages and wage increases, especially the trade unions in Germany now do ask 8% higher salaries for your uh, unionized workers. Is that something which you think is doable, given also the uncertainty in the business outlook? I think we should be cautious now, because what could happen, though we start with raw materials and uh, then with wages, and we get into a price uh, spiral, which I think would be bad for economy and basically for all people involved. So I'm confident that uh, uh, Works Council members and, and trade unions are conscious of this situation. Uh, and I think there's good dialogue already established in Germany to keep the wages at the level which are uh, acceptable for both sides. One more question on the economic outlook, because the recession word is flourishing quite substantially among CEOs. So uh, loads of people do expect, for example, the US economy to hit a recession pretty soon, but also Europe. How concerned are you? Uh, we are cautious. No, we are, uh, our advantage is that we have good order book, which reaches uh, on the EV side well into next year. Uh, also on the ICE side, we have good order intake. China is getting back to uh, uh, planned volume, so we think we can have a very good year in China, and the incentive measures in China are really working. So this will be a stronghold of Volkswagen. Uh, we have good product momentum, no many new uh, products, uh, good EV uh, uh, availability in the second half. So uh, we are still for us optimistic for the next months, uh, but we are cautious in ramping up, not to be over optimistic.